Hey everyone, we are back with our next installment of the Grow Light series and it's been another three weeks. Actually, it's been a little bit more, but I couldn't get it, everything done on the weekend. And so we've had basically a snowstorm here in central Arkansas. So I actually have a couple days off work, so I thought I would do this today. And I don't have a ton of updates, but there are a few things that I will show you. So let's just go ahead and get started and we'll start with Mars Hydro. Now, if you guys remember when we first started, this thing was on full blast and a bunch of my plants got burnt. In fact, I had to replace the Chroma and the Pearl von Nuremberg because they literally burnt to a crisp. And let's see, oh yeah, the Kiwi also burnt to a crisp, but it wasn't within, it didn't completely die. So it's actually on the second level and I'll show that to you in a second. But I replaced the PVN and the Chroma and the Kiwi in this one. So. Here's what's happened. I did keep the Luella, which got burnt. So anyway, here's our update. So Chroma actually looks pretty good. I don't see any really fancy colors. Kind of looks like it may be stretching again, but if you remember last time, I turned this all the way to dim because everything got burnt. So this is on full brightness and this is dim. However, this one seems to be stretching. And if you look at the raindrops, this one's stretching a whole bunch. So. My options here are to turn the light up brighter or get these guys closer to the light. And so what I think I'm gonna do is just get them closer to the light by putting some, some little things under them, just the ones that are stretching. So the PBN, it doesn't look bad. That's just some water deposits on it, but it's looking okay, it's kind of leaning, but I was really scared when I put them in, which is why I have them here on the edge versus right in the middle. Now look at this heart's delight. Now, I don't know if you can remember what it looked like before, but it's clearly laying down and curling its leaves to the side. And so they do this when they need more light. So this is another one that I'm going to get closer, like the, like the raindrops. Now, remember Luella got completely burnt. And if I can find a picture, I'll put it in here. But look, the new growth, uh, growth looks great. So I'm just gonna leave it alone and it'll eventually grow out of that burn stuff and look good but so far the new growth looks perfect haven't had to move it the agavoides also had burns but again same thing the new growth looks fine and here is our purposorum don't see anything bizarre going on here and then finally the new kiwi we added in she looks good bright new growth there already were some dry leaves on that kiwi so that's not because of the light so overall mars hydro new growth is looking good on a lot of things but a few things are stretching with it on all the way dim so i'm going to definitely put something underneath the heart's delight and the raindrops and maybe move up the chroma a little bit but everything else i'm going to keep the same so that's where we are with the mars hydro light now Moving on to the Fight Electric. Now ignore those ones in the back. Those are just ones that I already had in here, but the Purposorum looks great and actually looks quite a bit bigger. So I'm really happy with that one. The Agavoides looks really good too. Also looks larger. Luella, very, very good looking. I do see one little, I think that may have been from before. I'm not sure. The uh, Pearl von Nuremberg and Chroma, they look fine. They're not dried up and they're not stretching out. Even the Heart's Delight is not stretching out. Now, let me just, I'll tell you about that in a minute. But anyway, Kiwi looks good. She's got new growth and actually some, some pretty good pink colors on the sides. Same with the Luella and the Pearl von Nuremberg. So I'm really liking what these lights are doing. Now, let me just tell you with the raindrops, uh, you guys know that these are super sensitive to watering and I have never really kept plants in the house before this experiment. So what I'm guessing is that I probably overwatered it because one day I touched it and some leaves fell off and I figured it was just rotting from the inside out. That was about a week ago and I figured if that was the case, the other ones would fall off, but, but I pushed the other ones and, and they're still firm. So I'm not really sure what happened, but I'm gonna leave it alone, just see what happens. If it truly is rot coming from the, from the roots and the stem, it will work its way up and all these guys will fall off and it will die, but that hasn't happened and usually that would happen by now. So if I had, oh yeah, and then this guy back here, this was the kiwi that got so burnt, but look at all that good new growth. So I'm glad I kept it. 
because it really does have some, some pretty new bright growth. And it just, everything under this one looks really bright. So anyway, glad I kept that guy. So Fight Electric, I'm really feeling good about this one. I don't think I need to move anything closer and I'm just gonna keep plugging along the way things are and we'll keep a special eye on this poor raindrops, but you know. Sorry guys, I'm new with the indoor plants. And then finally, this is the commercial electric. So the Purposorum looks great. Doesn't look bigger. Well, actually it might be a little bit fatter, but it looks fine. The Agavoides looks okay. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. The Kiwi, definitely putting on new growth. I think even though you're in the house, they know that it's winter time. So they know, you know, when, when they're supposed to be doing their active growing. Now this uh, raindrops, y'all remember when we put them in here that the outer growth was not good. These were the ones that got damaged by too high of a percentage of alcohol, but honestly the new growth looks fine to me. And if you look at the height, maybe stretching a little bit, maybe not. So probably for this one, I'll move it a little bit closer under this light. And other than that, I'm, I'm happy with it. I can actually see some drops, unlike some of the other ones where I'm not even seeing them. Uh, the Hearts Delight is doing the same thing as the one under the Mars Hydro. They're, the leaves are laying down, so it almost looks rounded, and that means it needs more light. So I'm definitely going to move that one closer. And the way I'll do that, I'll put some little blocks or something underneath it, and I'll just do a little at a time because I don't want to go way up there and get it burnt, but we'll see. And then finally, these guys in the back, the Chroma and the Pearl von Nuremberg, they look fine. They're happy. They're not stretching out. Not super impressed with any colors, but they're not doing bad. And then finally, Luella, for some reason, she decided to start leaning over to the side. I don't know if it's maybe to get closer to one of the bars of light, but, but she looks fine. There's no damage or anything like that. So overall... If we look at everything, Mars Hydro, some of the plants need to be closer, even on the dim uh, portion. I'm too worried about putting it on the, the bright portion because I don't want to burn the plants again. Fight Electric, I'm happy with almost everything. I may, yeah, I, I'm pretty much happy with everything. I don't think I need to move anything. The only thing I'm really unhappy with though is what happened to the raindrops and that was totally my fault. And then finally, Commercial Electric, there are a few things I'm going to move closer, like the raindrops and the Heart's Delight. But overall, if I had to say who wins this round, it would definitely be the Fight Electric. So I wanted to give you guys an update, and I will give you another update in three weeks or earlier if something happens, something interesting happens. But otherwise, I'm going to do every three weeks. And like I promised in my last video, I'm gonna do that giveaway for that really pretty Korean hybrid that I showed you in my last video. So if you'll give me a minute, I'm going to pull up the computer and we'll do that little wheel where we pick the winner. So I'll be back in a second. Hey everyone, we are here to do the giveaway and I had to type in all you guys' names and you were killing me with all the comments, but I just now got everybody in. Sorry, that was my dog shaking off from coming inside. But anyway, uh, just FYI, if you don't live in the U.S., I cannot ship this to you. So whoever does win, I'm going to comment under your name and let you know. And if you don't live in the U.S., we'll have to spin again. But anyway, let's go ahead and do this and see who our winner is. So thank you guys all for subscribing and commenting. And it looks like our winner is... T. Jaeger. So I'm going to send you a message and get, get your information. So anyway, congratulations. And I think I'm probably going to add one more thing to the video. So just to let you know, I want, uh, we're in the middle of a snowstorm, like I said. And so I want to go out, show you the plant again that you want, and then maybe show you the snow outside and then we'll call it a day. All right, everyone, I wanted to show you my walk to the greenhouse, but isn't this crazy? We've never had snow like this ever. And if you look at some of the chairs, oh my gosh, there's like a foot of snow. But anyway, I'm going to get to the greenhouse. I'm all bundled up. It should be nice and warm in there, but this is crazy. 
Anyway, this probably won't ever happen again in my location, but I'm so lucky to have a heated greenhouse in. Oh, look at that. Temperature is 70 degrees. It's so toasty in here. Sorry, I'm moving the camera fast, you guys. Anyway, let me set a couple things down right here, and then I will show you the giveaway plant. Got it right here, labeled, very pretty. Someone's gonna be really happy, but, and that's T. Jaeger. I don't know your first name, but I did go ahead and message you. But anyway, wanted to show you the plant. I'll get your information in my email. And I also just wanted you guys to see all the snow out here. It's crazy, but it's nice and warm in the greenhouse. Now the other day, the snow was completely covering the roof and it was so dark in here. But anyway, it's nice and toasty. Tomorrow it's supposed to be above freezing. So everything's gonna melt starting soon, but wanted to show you the snow because we've never had this here and oh there's one of my pups no that's mox no that's no that's nico anyway thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for subscribing and being part of the giveaway i hope you guys will continue to watch follow my grow light series and also all the other stuff too y'all have a great day and be safe